Hi, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the Move tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. The purpose of the Move tool is to be able to move around and manipulate images in Photoshop. It's found in the top right-hand corner of the Tools menu, which can be found by clicking Window, Tools, and you will see the Tools menu appear there. It's the one that looks like a triangle right in the top corner, and you will see that the keyboard shortcut is V, which means if I'm on another tool and I want to use the Move tool, simply by hitting V on my keyboard, I will be taken back to the Move tool. If I select a layer, over in the layers palette here, which by the way, if you don't have, it can be found by going to window layers or simply pressing F7. If I select the layer and I click on it while I have the move tool selected, I can move the layer around. If I want to move another one, such as the one below, I go over to the layers menu, or layers palette rather, and I can move that one around. But you will see that this time when I try and move the layer, I can't because it's locked. If you run into this problem, go over to your layers palette and you will see a lock over in the corner. By clicking the lock up here, you will unlock that layer and now we can move it around. It's uh, rather inconvenient to have to go over to the layers palette each time to um, select the layer. So, the Move tool does have a feature called Auto Select. We can enable that by going up to the menu here and clicking Auto Select. Now when I click on the layer, I can move it around, and if I click on this layer, I can move that layer around. Now we still certainly can't manipulate the images in terms of size or rotation. Although we can by clicking on Show Transform Controls. And that will show the transform controls, which is a little box around the size of the layer that is selected. These transform controls allow you to, when clicking on them and dragging, change the size of the image, or even changing the rotation of an image. Now here's a quick tip, if you're changing the size of an image and you want the aspect ratio to be the same, which means you don't want the picture to appear squished or uh, it seems too tall, we can do that by holding down shift on your keyboard before changing the size. And that will effectively keep the same aspect ratio and keep your photo in proportion. So that is the Move tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.